Hey everybody, welcome to this edition of Mandolin Chronicles. My name is Jonathan McClanahan and today we're going to learn about hide glue. And please click and subscribe to this to my YouTube channel and um, hit the little bell if you want to be alerted every time that uh, I upload a video or something like that. So make sure and click and subscribe. All right, today we're going to talk about hide glue and its advantages and I'm going to show you actually the um, application of, of uh, working with hide glue. Hide glue has many, many advantages. From repair work, um, just a little bit of uh, steam or a little bit of hot water and it releases the glue and, uh, and then um, a little bit of steam and hot water and the glue um, regains its tenacity. Once it's pressed, it re-glues itself and it's just an amazing medium for luthiers to use as well as furniture makers and um, it's, it's the, the uh, tonal qualities of hide glue also are superior, in my opinion, to uh, regular wood glue. And I want to show you a little bit of that. This here is a McClanahan mandolin that um, I am building for Mark McGlashan. Many of you all have seen Mark McGlashan. He is literally one of the top mandolinists uh, in the bluegrass and acoustic and the jazz world. He's absolutely amazing. You can see all of his videos playing my instruments on my channel and um, this is a mandolin that I'm building for him this is his back right here it's a two-piece quarter sawn back and what I want to do is I want to show you the application of hide glue hide glue has got um, somewhat of a somewhat of a stigma possibly because it is difficult to work with and um, it sets up very very quickly and it can set up on you uh, and gel up before you actually get uh, your instrument uh, glued together if you don't have all uh, the aspects of your of your uh, clamps and everything set into place in advance. But let me show you what I'm talking about. Right here I've got hide glue that's already brought up to heat and let me show you something. This is a pre this is a pre application that I like to do. This is thinner a little bit thinner and I like what I like to do is I like to add this to let's say in this case the rims add a thin coat of this to the rims and a thin coat of of the uh, pre-application also to the glue surface on the top let that dry and then I make sure all of my center lines and everything is in place and then this is my um, this is my final application. If you look at this right here and zoom up on this, it's a beautiful color and you can see how much more thicker it is. Now this right here being thick means the setup time is quicker. Okay, so if you're just starting out using hide glue, um, I strongly recommend that you add some water to it and thin it up a little bit and that will give you the benefit of being able to um, of uh, giving you a little bit of uh, mercy in the application a little bit of time now with that said though that mercy is only about I would say at the most three minutes um, you that that's the reason but at this thickness right here it's like around two minutes two and a half minutes at the most so what I recommend is like right here I've got my I've got my clamps already in place on, on my right hand side I've got these clamps already in place right here I've got my scroll clamp right here I've got my block for my that goes over my head block right there I want to make sure that I've got all of my clamps already ready to go this being a flat surface you get the benefit of that glue um, beginning to melt um, the post glue the thicker glue beginning to melt the uh, pre-application on the inside of the top and the pre-application on the rim set whenever that glue because and also it's hot begins to melt that glue that with hide glue glue glues the glue the hide glue of the uh, application actually adheres to the glue on the surface here and then adheres to the surface on the on this top and that's what you want you want a welding of the glue 
And the reason why I'm adding this hot water is so that I will begin to break down so that glue will begin to loosen because I want that glue, I want that loosened. All right, then I come in here and this looks, trust me, it's, it's not messy. It's very, very clean. It's a clean, perfect application, but you just gotta move quickly. Now this isn't part of the three minutes that I was talking about. This just is kind of like a pre-application to, to get this glue. Because right now, it's, all, it's already broken down just with that little bit of application. It's already broken down now and ready to weld it with this, with this glue. So here we go. It can be nerve-wracking at first. I mean, it takes a good while, I'll be honest with you, to get used to it. But once you get used to it, it's an amazing, amazing glue. All right, so there we go. We're in line. Uh, here's what I was talking about. This is extremely important. I got my center line right here. I got my center line right there. Now I'm going to come in right here, vertical. See how the top didn't shift? That's what I want right there. You got to make sure and not come in this way. You got to make sure and come in vertical. Okay? And I'm gluing perfect. Perfect. All right. Now, I'm going to glue one on the back here, on the sides. Sorry. Right there. Glue one on this side. All right. And what I'm doing, I'm hitting the tail block. The points. First, coming in here, getting the scroll area. This is very, very important because a lot of the strength of the top. Perfect. And then you always want to put a block right there so that you have equal distribution of pressure. What I always do at this point is make sure, look around and make sure that it's 100% pressed. And it is. See, it's perfect. Okay. All right, there it is. Now, as far as the glue time goes, um, with hide glue, it will set up um, literally within 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Uh, but, I mean, I personally will let my tops and backs, anything I glue, my necks, anything, I always let them set overnight. My tone bars... Anything I use high glue on, I let it sit overnight just to be safe. All right, thank you so much for tuning in uh, to this edition of Mandolin Chronicles. And again, make sure and click subscribe. I appreciate it and be looking for more videos. Talk to you later.